that the date to date is in 2024. That, of course, should have been 2025. Hello, hello, hello. Today is Friday, January 17, 2024. Problem 221. I call it mass spectrometer problem. I cover mass spectrometers in my 802 lectures. The majority of natural uranium is composed of uranium-238, making up about 99.3%, while the remaining small portion is only 0.7% uranium-235. A mass spectrometer was used in the period 1942 to 45 to enrich uranium, which was required for an atomic bomb. There was then another method used to enrich uranium, which is called diffusion, which I will not discuss here. The uranium-235 enrichment of the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima on August 6, 1945 was 80%. The bomb, codenamed Little Boy, contained 60, 64 kilograms of this enriched uranium. What follows is the concept of separating 235 from 238 using a mass spectrometer. Singly ionized uranium was accelerated by an electric field. We will assume here that the positively ionized uranium, uranium atoms were accelerated over a potential difference of 250 volts. In vacuum, the ions would then enter an area with a uniform magnetic field of 0.01 Tesla. The B field is perpendicular to the paper in the picture below and it is pointing towards you. So here you see the picture and the dot Next to the B means that it is pointing in your direction and it's perpendicular to the paper. The ions would then move in a circle. But since the mass of 238 is higher than of 235, the radius of 238 ions would be somewhat larger than that of uranium-235. And the question now is, what is the distance x? So since 235 had a slightly lower mass than 238, the radius of those ions is smaller than of 238. Larger mass, lower acceleration. The question is what is the distance x? I want two digit precision in centimeters. So what is this distance? And so you could catch here the 238, which you're not interested in, but you can catch here the 235, and that's what you want. Nowadays, enrichment is done using gas centrifuges and diffusion technology. Even for reactors, for nuclear reactors, you need enriched material. A 
Currently, Iran has around 13,000 centrifuges installed at its enrichment plants. And it is feared, of course, that they want to build nuclear bombs. Is this an easy problem? It depends on, <laughs> on your definition of easy or difficult. Would I have been able to solve this in, in, in high school? Absolutely no way. But this is classical first year college school. And therefore it is not surprising that I cover this in my MIT lectures. 802, of course. All right, good luck. You may have to do some work on your own. And I hope that many of you are willing to do that. As I said, I cover it in my lectures. And you have to take it from there. It may take you a few hours of work. But my objective is to teach you physics. In this case, perhaps physics that you were not familiar with.